What's up, Helix users? This is Steve Strelacci, and I just updated 2.9, made a couple of presets to throw together for you guys and share them with you. I'm going to put this on custom tone. This will be a free one for you guys. This is for the HX Stomp, but you could use it with your Helix Floor, Native, LT. I think you can even copy some of these into PodGo if you have both. I'm not sure how that works yet. But this is the Purple, the Rev Purple, which is the newest amp that they added the 2.9 update. Straight out of the gate, once you put this into your preset, it sounds really good. It's probably the best sounding amp that you could pull up and plug and play out of the entire Helix. Once you put this on, it's like, holy crap, like the sound is already there. But I still, you know, went through and tweaked it to my liking. I also added the Alpaca Rouge, which is the Red Llama, and that hence the name Purple Llama. I also have the cocked wah that I used in one of my last videos that got a really good response. A lot of people were asking questions about how I got that, you know, that it's more of a filtering effect with the wah pedal, using it to push it into, or push the mid range into a nicer place. So here's the settings on the wah pedal that I used for this. And let's hear this sounds like without these for right now. What you just heard was the, uh, just the amp by itself and the delay and reverb with the EQ on no drive pedal. So here is with the drive pedal. <laughs> And now let's put the Cactua effect back on. So this is with all three of these engaged. <laughs> It's just switching a little bit from the neck and bridge pickup of the telly. Also in the preset, um, let's look at the cabs. I got the 412 Cali V30, which pretty much is as it is. I mean, I really didn't have to do a ton of tweaking to this because I really like the way it sounded right out of the gate. Um, I Yeah, I guess that's normally 8, and I have it at 7.9. Not too much of an adjustment there. And I added some early reflections. And I also added EQ, a little shelf action happening here just a little bit of sparkle on the top end and just get rid of a little bit of the flubbiness on the low end this is a nice thing just to clean up the sound a little bit let's hear this without it so here's with turn it off Neck pickup. Without. So kind of a subtle difference, but just a little bit of a clarity gets added. I also have this delay, just a mod chorus echo, nothing super fancy. Let's turn it on. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
nice little device down. And then I have the thing that I've been really most excited about doing in the Helix, um, splitting the path, set to split Y again, doesn't matter, just like in my other video. And I have a spring reverb for some reason. I just like the way the spring sounded in this. I'm gonna turn the delay off. Let's really hear what this sounds like. If I can click that, there we go. So here's the reverb. Now you might be thinking with such a high mix, why does that not sound totally washed out? It's because I have it in this parallel path and I am mixing it down so that the level of the affected signal is 10 dB or 9.2 dB lower than the dry signal. So for those that don't know what the heck I'm talking about, this dry signal or this top signal here goes straight to here and think of that as its own chain, its own signal. And then the signal splits and it gets hit by the reverb and then it goes to the output. So this by itself, if I were to turn off this first path, take that totally off. Very unusable sound, but when you blend the two together, so I'm just gonna bring up this dry signal back up to zero. If I click this, it goes to zero. How about I type it? That's easier. 0 0.1. Okay, come on. Zero. There we go. Now they're blended properly. Same thing if I turn this all the way down, this level. So now this level is this. It's all of this stuff and then the reverb. So now it's like that part is not here. So this is just the dry signal. So you can think of this as two separate sounds that you're just blending together. Let's bring this back to 9.2. If my number lock was not on, that'd be great. Nine point two was the sweet spot for it, and here it is all together. No, that's plus nine point two, not minus nine point two. On your game today, Steve. There we go. Nine point two, minus nine point two. So now you have just enough reverb to have a nice decay, a nice bed for the notes to sit on. So again, that's with everything all together. What you have on the HX Stomper on your Helix, you're gonna have two foot switches that just engage the drive pedal and engage the delay. Other than that, the stock sound will have the Coctua always on, the Q always on, and the reverb always on. So I hope you guys go to Custom Tone, download this, let me know what you think in the comments. Um, if you're new to the channel, subscribe, all that good stuff. And any questions on anything Helix, please feel free. Let me know in the comments what you want to know about, what you want to hear about. And any questions about the 2.9 update, leave them. I'll get back to you. Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next video.